It's our story. Kathy Martinez, Berkeley, California. You know, I don't, I have to say I don't know. Oh, you don't know that part? No, I know that, um, you know, historically the deaf and the blind have been, especially the blind, have, have, have been, the blind has been the longest organized disability group for the two simple reasons that unlike people in wheelchairs, they can get up the steps of any building where the power might be housed. And unlike the deaf, the blind can, pe- can speak the language of the dominant culture. So those are, that's my sense of why they've been able to organize. Um, I would say that the blind, as, a, as an organized political group, tend to be pretty conservative because they've gotten a lot of perks and they don't want to let go of them. Um, I don't think that's the case for the deaf or for people with physical physical disabilities. Um, I don't know, I wasn't there, um, and I don't know what went on with regard to the negotiations for the money. Um, But I imagine that whatever money there was at the time that Ed became director, it it wasn't a lot, even money going to the blind. Um, And I imagine, you know, the whole concept of the CILs had to be sold on a nationwide basis. He did allocate money to, you know, to around the state, but the whole concept grew to the point where the feds were also giving money. So um, I imagine that if he did take money from the deaf and the blind, it was, it was a, you know, a tough, tough sell. Um, um, but I, I still think it was ultimately the right way to go um, because I think we've done a lot better as as a, a coalition of different types of, of people with different types of disabilities than we would have ever um, fighting our own battles alone. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.